What's going on guys, this is Jake from Warcry Games and welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe, uh, hit the like button if you like the content, comment down below if you want to see something new. Uh, today, we're going to continue my Let's Play series. We're going to play Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo, as you can see behind me. Uh, we got to boot it up and running, uh, running on a capture card, and we're going to play together. And again, this series is dedicated towards uh, booting up a game you've not played in a long time and then just finding a random save file, jumping in, and just getting lost in it. Uh, this game, Super Mario World, as you can see it came out 1990, 1991. Uh, this was actually the first video game I ever played. And I remember it very, very well. I was, uh, I was sick, I think I was about five years old, and my father went to the hospital, uh, picked me up, and on my way back, I guess I was just not feeling very well. He ended up uh, stopping, doing a pit stop, and uh, I don't remember what story he went to, but he picked up the Super Nintendo and uh, this game, and yeah, the rest was history. But So we're going to continue in, we're going to jump in. I've not gone anywhere further than this title screen in a good while. Um, I do have the uh, Super Nintendo Classic, the one that hooks up via HDMI to your TV. That one I've played through more recently, um, but in I, I did a full clear. I always try to revisit this game like at least once a year. It's just it's one of my all-time favorite games. So hope you guys enjoy. Let's uh, let's jump in. So 40, 26, 20. We'll just go to the 40 for now. Let's see. This is the top secret area level. You can always get just a little bit started back up on uh, stuff you're missing. Oh, I did notice there's a very minimal, it's very slight, but there's a small amount of input lag from uh, what's happening on screen versus what I'm, what I'm pushing. So yeah, I'm going to blame that if I die at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason that I'm dying, not not uh, not my own personal lack of skill. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so we got the I believe that's the pink switch, which unlocks some stuff. Let's uh, clear this the normal way, I believe. This level is better to have a flower, fire flower. This is such a, a beautiful game. I mean, even back then, even even today, it still holds up. Oh, Yoshi. I don't think I can use you today, bud. You know, the colors are vibrant. The, the music in the background is amazing. Just enemy types are memorable. I mean, there's a reason people still go back to play this game. And, uh, you know, I, I kind of get the urge to do it whenever I see... Super uh, Mario Maker levels, uh, Mario Maker 2 that just dropped out, come out, and it, it's kind of got this vein, you know, they got the aesthetic from like Super Mario World, and man, just it, it still holds up today, you know? I hope the button presses aren't uh, too uh, hindering. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if they are. be the secret switch way so I gotta go the normal way charging chuck right something like that okay so after the feather oh yeah let's do it Yeah, this is my first time booting up the Super Nintendo, at least for this series, and I got other games I want to play on it as well. Uh, Donkey Kong Country 1, 2, and 3. I'm pretty sure the next playlist I'm going to decide to play on besides this Let's Boot Up a Random Save is going to be the uh, pretty much a playthrough of some of these games. You know, Let me know if you guys want to see that, but uh, I definitely want to do, like, say, a full playthrough of Donkey Kong Country, Donkey Kong Country 2, Donkey Kong Country 3. Just start to finish, you know, till end credits. 
um, record my experience with it, talk about it, you know, what I remember back then, what it's like now, if I can still remember like some of the secrets and stuff. Um, that might just be in a side playlist. Uh, another thing I want to do is a multiplayer playlist. So just kind of grab some of my friends, uh, record some of our gameplay sessions. And uh, yeah, I got a couple other ideas in mind as well. But yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. Man, I love platformers. So for you, if I remember correctly, Maybe this one? Yeah. I think this just gets you to the end of the level quicker. Yeah, there's definitely this small input. Maybe you guys can see it from clicking the button to when he jumps. Ah, it's, it's, it's barely noticeable, if anything. Switch there. Man, when was the last time you guys played some of these titles? <laughs> oh, okay. I gotta, I gotta just go. Uh, there's something. Oh, okay. I should have brought the switch over there to get to that part. Round two, let's do this. I'd probably say out of all the consoles I own, I have the fondest memories of this. Probably not just because it was my first one, but the amount of time I put into all those games. You know, I, I got a lot of these, uh, a lot of these levels memorized. A lot of the different, uh, you know, secrets. Like I said, how to get the switch, how to get over to the star levels, what to do to progress to the next one. Just back, I mean, back in the day, I used to just play these games on repeat. Um, now, you know, like. A game's really got to grab me, like truly got to grab me to get me that, that interested in it. And even then, it's just enough to like complete the game. Um, this was like, I wouldn't say I wouldn't go as far as being like go expert level in this game, but it, it was it was yeah, as you can see, but it was uh, fun enough that it warranted frequent replays. You know, and that, that to me that's a rare thing. Oh, I should have waited. Having a Yoshi in this level is amazing. You can just stand on Yoshi where I'm standing right now, and as these guys jump, you just go from being at the front of the line, that front skull, to the, the back skull. And yeah, you just you don't have to move, you don't have to do anything. Uh, I don't think. I think this would have been a feather, which I could have used to jump up there for like a bonus room or something. But yeah. I think this game looks a lot more clear, a lot sharper uh, than it did back in the day. Something I just learned, uh, probably this past week or so, yeah, just to let you guys know, if you don't know about S-Video, go look it up. If you're wondering why this just looks a little bit better, why it's just a little bit smoother, it's uh, because I'm using an S-Video connector uh, hookup um, that plugs into a uh, AV device that outputs an HDMI signal. but uh, normally it's, uh, I believe it's a uh, composite, we plug into the back of your Super Nintendo, then into your, your TV, and I mean it's just the standard signal, that's what you're used to, but if you use the normal connector that goes into the Super Nintendo and have an S-Video out input, 
everything's so much different. Go YouTube it, go look it up. The quality difference between the two is dramatic, honestly. Um, couldn't believe it. I've been playing this for like, say, 25 years, and I thought it was bad, but it, it was definitely a, a lower quality, you know. Now it's a little bit more vibrant. I don't care about you. Let's go. What a man. So yeah, if I can do that, I'll show you without falling into the lava. This guy. Yeah, you see? So you don't have anything to worry about if you got Yoshi in this level. <laughs> Unless you're terrible at platforming. I want to blame it on the lag. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. couple other titles I have for the Super Nintendo. Um, I'm not sure if I'm ever going to do a Let's Play with them here, but... Um, so Sim, I don't remember if it's like Sim 2000 or something like that, but Sim for... Or Sim City, sorry, for the uh, uh, Super Nintendo. That was a fun game. Uh, you can. My favorite part about it is you can build your city up, you can build the little power grids, the uh, residential areas, you can connect everything. And if you get bored at any point, and I don't know if other sim games are like this, but you can select the uh, disaster button and and one of them, it's like, okay, yeah, you can have, I think a tornado come through, you can have a fire that gets started, but like straight up Godzilla will come and destroy your town. He'll just wreak havoc on everything. Unless I'm like remembering incorrectly, that's how I remember it. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah, I might, I might have to do a little bit of Let's Play on that. I think I have one of the old Madden titles. I think that's the only sports game I can ever recall playing. Um, Madden for like the Super Nintendo. Uh, aside from like uh, wrestling titles on the on Super Nintendo and Nintendo 64, but. Uh, besides Mario Kart racing, stuff that's a little bit more casual like that, I've never been into racing, never been into sports games, it's just, it's not my, my cup of tea. Oh, okay. Try about this level. You can cheese it too. If I would have had Yoshi, I would have uh, eaten one of the guys with the blue shells and just like fly through most of it. Same with a lot of these levels with the cape. You can literally just fly through most of the levels. Man. We'll try it here. Oh, right when I try it. That's what I get for trying to be greedy. I missed the halfway mark. Oh no. More bullets. Come on, man. You gotta do it, man. We're oh no. Oh, okay. Okay. Forgot about that. Nah, we got this. We got this. Let's do this, guys. Alright, I'm not as nervous now. Anytime you have just that one mushroom, that one power up, you're good, you know? Aw, oh, dang, I can't get there.
gives you pretty much just enough time to react. <laughs> I actually remember learning like some basic uh, addition through this game. Something I would always do is at the top, you see I had a 44 for my score. Every single time you actually hit that bar, it adds a certain number. So like say it would have said 20 on it, then you would have known, you know, okay, I should have 64 at the end of it. It would calculate it, but I made it a goal always to try to beat the calculation. I was like a, you know, five, six, seven year old. It was a, a fun, I guess, mental exercise, uh, arithmetic. Uh, for you to do all oh, these guys. I need one of you to do that. You. Yeah. Oh, dang. Okay. Oh no, looks like my console froze. That sucks. Mm. It's the one bad part about some of these retro systems. It's rare, but I mean, this happens. So, and with these old school games, you have to, uh, um, you know, just kind of eat it because <laughs> I don't think I saved until the. Oh yeah, that looks bad. Let me pop this out. All right, looks like we are back up and running. Just took another couple uh, attempts, but. Let's progress, let's get back into our 42% complete game. Um, just to not be repetitive so we don't go down the same route, because uh, I believe this game splits at this point. We'll go up a, we'll go up a different way. Let us see. Fortress. Butter Bridge 1. These bridge levels are hard. If I remember, they like auto-move. Uh, like the screen will pan, yeah, so the screen will start panning from left to the right so you're forced to jump. Usually requires pretty precise platforming on like this. Yeah, this is actually a hard game, a hard level. I'm not even going for that old uh, tempting fates idea. Yeah, I get this coin, you know, old like uh, we talked about in the banjo kazooie. Oh, banjo kazooie, uh, rare type of um, game. Donkey Kong would do it in their cart levels. They'll give you the bananas at the very edge of a corner. You can go for it, get it, be successful, get your little bananas, but there's like a 75% chance you're just gonna die. So. Just not, not worth the risk. Not usually. Not unless you're just feeling like really, really up for it. You don't have to get every coin. You don't have to get every little secret. Man. Okay, we sucking. We sucking, guys. Let's get a little bit more focus. Remember the difference between my father and I when we used to play this game is I would always go headstrong. I just wanted to go, 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 go. He was the more patient one. He would just sit here and wait for like the, the perfect opportunity to, to, you know, progress to the next platform, to do the next thing. Um, I mean, as a kid, it makes sense, right? You're pretty impatient. You're not as interested in waiting when you could just uh, go. But let's see, let's try not to die here. But I mean, his strategy worked. He'd clear levels probably at a greater success rate than I did, but I would progress faster like through them, of course. So maybe I could beat the game a little bit quicker than him, but he would have less deaths, you know, something like that. Actually, I do want to go down there. That was a bad idea. 
I'll just move. <laughs> And surprisingly, this is actually a fun game to play uh, multiplayer with other people. Um, Two-player game, so one person's Mario, the other's Luigi. When one person dies, the other person takes over for that uh, level. Don't remember. I don't remember how those little green blocks worked. It's something like, I don't remember if you get to it in a certain amount of time or if it's random or not. But, uh, They'll sometimes give you like a one-up mushroom. I don't know what the conditions are. I never did look that up. Back in the day, if you had questions, if you had difficulty completing a level or um, you just couldn't figure it out, whoa, what happened here? I mean, I think my uh, console is getting pretty wonky. I think I'll have to do some troubleshooting on it. You see that? That was pretty cool. Oh dang, okay, yeah, so it did just crash, so part two of troubleshooting, let's do this. Alright guys, looks like we're back up and running, just took another couple minutes to try it. Um, so yeah, maybe I should start using the Super Nintendo Classic, uh, I mean it does have a lot of the same games I own, so I don't know, I've never had this problem with it in the past, this, uh, this uh, just could be the system finally given out after all this time. Uh, this is my original Super Nintendo from back in the day, but um, yeah, so I mean, it, it's I just might be showing its age at this point. Let's go to a different save, just try a different uh, set of levels. Um, do I go water? I don't remember the alternate route for that. Let's get beefy. Let's uh, level up a little bit. The cool thing about this level is you can just keep going back into it if I wanted to. Uh, I could just go right back into the top secret area, pop the Yoshi thing, you just get a 1-up, uh, you, you can always have a cape, you can always have a flower, you can keep increasing that number. It's not the creator's intent, I'm sure, but it's, you know, it is what it is, it's there. <laughs> well, it looks like we're just back one, one level area, it's okay. I just want to get back in. I just want to dive back into kind of like where I was at. Okay. Well, we haven't got the pink switch, so sorry, Yoshi. Which is there. I want to go to the star levels. I want to try out some of those. Um, I can do the alternate one for this. That should get me into one of the star levels. Let us see. You should be a beanstalk, whatever those things are called. I gotta find the alternate key for this. Left side of the map, I wanna say? Something to do with this spring over there? Yeah. I don't need the spring. Boom, 40. So, I don't know if you guys know this, but if you complete all of the star levels, um, I think there's one, two, three, four, five, five star levels. You have to not only complete them in Star Road, but complete the alternate levels for all of them, so that's ten. It unlocks a special secret star uh, road area. If you complete those, they're all like way more challenging uh, platforming levels. Then it turns all the enemies in the game to uh, variants of them. If not all, like a lot of them, a lot of them start looking different. Uh, pumpkin heads, if I remember, and you know a couple other things, but yeah, this is this is Star Road. I just want to do a couple of them. Man, Blue Yoshi, absolutely my favorite. 
any shell he eats, he grows wings. Versus if it's any like a different color Yoshi, it only works for uh, if he eats a blue one. Come after me. Okay, that sucks. I don't think you can swim fast enough to catch him. Dang, okay. Well, the good thing about it is once you actually beat the level, uh, you can just start the level again, get the Yoshi, and then start and select. That resets the level, that puts you back to the old part. The way to beat the secret is up under here. The way to beat it normal is right there. So that's, I mean, it's not that challenging, obviously, especially if you know what to look for. But yeah, all these star road levels have this. And then on the normal levels, if you see a, if the level's red, it's got like a red, like how these all have a red dot on them, that means it can be, t uh, be beaten two different ways. So actually, no, let's change it up. Let's go to this. This secret way to beat is right here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we can do it the old way. Let's go up, let's go up. Let's go float, find the key. This lets you progress to the next one, otherwise it'll just send you back to the star. But you do have to beat them both all the way just to uh, be able to get to the more challenging ones. So red, these baby Yoshis, you gotta feed them till they uh, become full grown. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I thought he needed at least one more. <laughs> so I guess he only needs three. too. My audio is not working at the moment too well, but you do have to be careful once he starts like chugging like that. Yeah, he's going to lose his wings. Secret area is below us. I don't think I, yeah, I don't have the pink switch. There's another way to get it besides the pink switch, if I remember correctly. I don't know if it, oh yeah, I just need a blue shell. And then I can just fly that way. Hmm. This guy. All right, this should take a little bit of skill. No! That is not a little bit of skill. That is the opposite of skill. Um, I guess we'll beat it the normal way and then uh, just try to go for it. So 69, boom. <laughs> it's like an itch now. Anytime I see it, I'm like, okay, let me add the two. Let me add the two. <laughs> We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it without the pink switch. Pink switch is easy mode. This may help. Yeah, 
Yeah, Red Yoshi, no matter what he eats, he'll always shoot out fire. Oh, we got this, we got this. Oh no, he's gonna shoot out fire. Oh, that's fine, because I can just do this. And I'm gonna keep Yoshi for now. And then hit it, and then spit him out. <laughs> Could have been wrong. Maybe you just have to beat this the alternate way, then it unlocks the challenging ones. That's what I'm thinking now. Um, okay. You go that way, and you hit this. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Sorry, Yoshi. There's a reason you're a meme. <laughs> the yellow Yoshi. Unless I'm mistaken, there's like nothing special about him. Um, I don't think so. I don't think there's anything unique about him. Or is he the one that does like the ground pounding whenever you have something? Yeah, 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 okay. That's kind of weak, I'll be honest. Oh no, I actually did not mean to do that. I don't remember, but I wanted to say that the secret area was just up ahead. I'll have to replay through that section. Man, with Blue Yoshi, it's super easy. It's way easier to do it. So most of Star Road should be connected now, uh, but I want to get to that secret switch. Yeah, minus that one to the side, that top one. We'll just go ahead and beat this one real quick and then go back to that one. Already, I know how to beat this one pretty quickly. It's basically here. Yeah, you can kill yourself doing this. It's kind of fun though, but that. <laughs> you can go all the way across the map doing that, but yeah. This should progress you. I didn't clear the alternate way of all of them, but at least, well, this can test our theory. Maybe if I just clear the alternate way of this, we can go to the uh, super challenging ones. Maybe I can just jump like this. Yes. Careful. Oh, do I need the pink again? Dang, I do. Okay, how do we do this? And the blue. Oh, but maybe I can do it this way. Maybe I can't. All right, all right, all right. We, we're gonna try to be a little bit cheap on, on this. We're gonna go uh, Blue Yoshi, which I think is this one. And then as long as I can keep them, we'll be good. Yeah, if you guys have a Nintendo Switch, by the way, I strongly recommend uh, uh, what do you call it? Super Mario Odyssey on the Switch. It's an amazing game. If you liked uh, Mario 64, it's like that but better. And I, I do think that's a big bold statement, and it's well warranted. It's a really, really, really good game. Um, it's different than this. They have throwbacks to 8-bit Mario, uh, like NES style. But let me go this way. Oh, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Did I die? Did I get it? Woo! Got to reset just in time. Nope, I didn't. <laughs> oh, man. Blooper reel. Let's try that again. I 
Having a mushroom helps too. Just anything that just kind of keeps you a little bit protected in case you get hurt. Um, the best thing is a feather, of course. Let's see. Didn't make that. Come on, we got this. Boom. Woohoo! Alright, we're going to the challenging levels. I'll just kind of give you a, a quick feel of what they're like, and then, uh, uh, yeah, we'll just, I'll probably be done after that. I don't want to keep, I don't want the videos to be too long, you know, somewhere between 20, 30-ish plus minutes. Um, not much longer than that. Oh dang, I guess Yoshi's pretty, uh, not quite useless, but more or less so than this. Can I get you? I think I can. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, man, let's go. Let's go. Lie, my little buddy. That sucks. <laughs> oh, I don't remember this completely, but I do remember it being a little bit challenging. I want to say you. You. No, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay, that's where that came from. I do need you. That first level is deceiving. I do remember a lot of them being a lot more difficult than that. So we'll try another one or two just in case. But yeah, these are, I think, once you finish it, it spells out, like, special or something. Um, oh, we still got the touch, man. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, it changes the enemy designs, but I don't think I'll get that far into it. Tubular. Last level was gnarly. <laughs> oh, this one's hard. You become a balloon. And this requires like multiple playthroughs and a ton of patience. I'll show you because you have to know the route to go. If you don't, you're, you're just not going to progress. Um, or you're just going to fall off the ledge and die. <laughs> I'll give it another try, but yeah, this one, this one might break me for now. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that's pretty difficult. Um, yeah, I think we're going to call it, guys, but yeah, I just wanted to play a little bit and get a good feel for it again. Um, yeah, if you guys did like it, again, you know, just uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, hit the like button, comment if you want to see something specific. I might swap things up. I did Nintendo 64 on my last video. I think I'm going to do uh, maybe original Xbox, just a OG Xbox for the next one. I've got, uh, what is it, a Need for Speed game I want to play. Uh, original Ninja Gaiden. There's a really crappy Dragon Ball game that I feel I may have to play. Sagas? And uh, there, there's a couple others that I'd like to play, but... Uh, then we'll move on, maybe just go by generation, move on to the PS3, the Wii. Um, what else do I have over there? Well, I have the 360 as well, so 360, PS3, and Wii. Um, and then, yeah, I'll, I'll start doing some more current generation stuff as well. But, um, yeah, if you guys like it, just, again, comment down below. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you want to see. And thanks for stopping by.